Today we're in the control room. Um, we monitor uh, the plasma performance here. So we run pulses every 15 minutes. So it's quite exciting when we're operating. It's, it's quite a vibrant atmosphere. Uh, my role, I work um, on primarily on spectroscopy analysis. So I measure temperatures of, of plasmas. Um, as well as the rotational speed of, of plasma using uh, visible spectroscopy. We heat the plasma using neutral beam heating. So um, how that works is we have a, a beam of neutral particles, uh, normally deuterium, um, and we fire that into the plasma. Um, and the reason why they're neutral is so that they can penetrate through the very high magnetic fields. Um, and then once they're in the core of the plasma, they, they uh, transfer their energy into the plasma, heating it up uh, to, to very, very hot temperatures. Yeah, reaching 100 million degrees was really exciting. It, it took a lot of effort. It was a big team effort to, to get there. Um, and there was a lot of work to be done in order to validate that measurement as well. We, we need to be able to prove why we got to those temperatures. It's not, it's not, it's, it's not good enough just to say that you've got there. You need to show you're working. Um, and that's what we've, that's what we've done. It, it shows that spherical tokamaks have um, a, a very good potential for uh, clean, sustainable energy um, that we can produce such high temperatures in, in such a small machine with limited power. It's very, it's very exciting. I, I love working fusion because it's a, it's a great challenge. It's a great uh, combination of engineering and physics uh, disciplines. It, it solves really complicated technical challenges, which is the reason why I got into STEM in the first place. But also there's a really important objective here to provide clean and sustainable energy. Thank you.